Okay, so <clears throat> starting on kind of the second portion of this project. The engine was having issues, but also um, the outdrive here. Um, basically, there is that rusty part right there. It's called a swivel shaft, and it has, it's like a square shaft. Um, so anyway, basically these two bolts right here, a maintenance item is to tighten those bolts and keep that tight on that swivel shaft. Well, this boat has a lot of miles on it, a lot of hours, and I assume a lot of <clears throat> tubing and things of the like. So anyway, if you take the out drive here and I push it back and forth, you'll notice that, that swivel shaft is not moving and there's like a ton of slop on that. Sorry for the shaky camera footage here, but anyway, a ton of, ton of slop there. And I mean, if we look all the way back, I mean, this is like, that's like straight and that's probably out like 15 degrees. <coughs> so, Anyway, that uh, that's kind of a problem when you're trying to dock or do something like that. So since I have the engine out and since I'm putting all this extra work into it, I want to get that sorted. So this section right here that goes from here all the way up and around all the way down the other side is called the gimbal ring. And so I'm going to try and get that off of there. And I don't know if it'll be repairable or if I'll have to get another one or what I'll have to do, but... That's the idea, so um, I'm crammed underneath this ski deck, <laughs> which is super nice for when you need it for a ski deck, but it really sucks when you're underneath here, but anyway, I'm going to start uh, disassembling this. The trim senders have to come off, and uh, um, the trim rams will have to come off, I think, because they're mounted to the ring as well. Um, right here, this pin goes through similar to, to that pin, so I have to undo that, but uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I was expecting way worse. So I anyway, will start uh, going on this. The bellows, too, will have to come off. And the uh, shift cable and a few other things. So anyway, uh, just going to dive in. professional tools. So real quick, I'm going to take this little pin out right there, undo these nuts. This is the shift cable on the inside of the boat. So that cable goes down and out through the transom. So anyway, you need to disassemble the end of this so you can pull the inner of the cable out. So 
So I got the uh, inner sleeve pulled out of the shift cable. This would be the the end that's outside on the uh, the stern drive side, and so obviously that won't pull out. This pulls, and it it's a hard yank. You can't get that off of there, so you have to pull all of this out the back of the stern drive there. So you see that little tube right there, that little blue tube. That's where it comes out. And so to remove the next section is you take this tool, um, and I don't remember the part number, hopefully I'll put it up on the screen, but anyway, this is uh, just a crappy tool that I got on Amazon, maybe link in the description, but anyway, you can use this to pull the, uh, pull the rest of that tube off, so I'm going to use this now. So I got my special tool and it fits on a three-quarter inch socket. So let's try this out, see if this even works. Right. So here we go. Back there, that hose clamp, we're on the um, starboard side of the boat. That hose clamp right there, that's the uh, shift bellows so I'm gonna get in there I think I can get in there with this this ratchet I don't know we'll see otherwise I'm gonna have to get a little swivel swivel adapter and some extensions and stuff but I'm gonna try this for now and see how it goes okay well that uh, shift bellows came off pretty easy at least undid the um, hose clamp really nice that was the uh, that's all I used for the inside that's an 18 inch 3 8 extension with a 3 8 swivel and an 8 mil socket which is basically a 5 16 so um, that is um, loosened and, whoops, terrible videography here. Loosened inside, that's that one there. And then right in the middle of the screen right there is where that little clamp was, that's undone. And then right here, we've got that undone. I was looking at this water tube, that's this guy, and it goes back and kind of swirls up and around and then it comes and you can see under the swivel pin there see that hose clamp back in there right in the middle of the screen that's the one I'm probably gonna go for I think because if I tip this down I think I have somewhat decent access there so we'll try it out see if it works if it doesn't we'll go a different way but we'll try that for now all right so I got that hose clamp undone you can kind of see how it's loose there and kind of wanted to push off there I'm not sure that's where I'll end up taking it undone but then uh, I think the last and almost final thing is gonna be to peel this uh, retainer up. So I think I'm just gonna get in here and pry this sucker out right there. But uh, I really can't see. There it is. There's the front, front edge of it. Right there. So I'll be getting in there with a um, beefier screwdriver and basically pound it out of there and peel it back. So. Try it out. So I end up cutting that uh, that water line, cut it off right there. Then I kind of have the bell housing just kind of peeled over to the one side, and you can see already that shift kit or not shift. That's the uh, gear lube um, hose has some pretty significant cracks in it already. You can see kind of right in the middle of the screen there. And then uh, still struggling with the shift cable, so I don't know if that must have to come through the through the transom. I'm not really sure. But anyway, we made some progress here, so I'm going to keep picking away at it and uh, see what we get. My impatience got the best of me, and I just nipped that uh, uh, gear lube line as well because uh, it was cracked and leaking pretty bad anyway. So I just cut that sucker too, and then now this shift cable is pulling out. The sheath is pulling out, so the bell housing is on the ground which is basically what I needed to do anyway. So uh, see if I can't start getting some of these bellows out of the way so I can work in here 
have a little more room and uh, we'll go from there <laughs> just give this a little pull and it tore so good thing we're in here um, there's the rest of it back there so uh, there's something on the other end of this shift cable so I'll get that cleaned up and then uh, that should remove and then uh, I see the um, gimbal bellows um, hose clamp is right or, uh, yeah hose clamp is right there so we'll do that quick too well now you can see why this is getting replaced a lot better you can see how this There is no, no connection there, and when you're trying to steer and dock, this makes it really hard. That's probably 30 or more degrees of, of slot back and forth. So we'll get this, get this all taken care of here. There's the shift uh, bellows. There's the end of the shift um, cable. And then this guy right here goes into the end of it so anyway this uh, I actually ran this all the way out the other way you just uh, take off this little jam nut and then this thing threads out so then then you can pull this right through the transom and now I have the bell housing off of there so uh, yeah that's good that feels good to have that off of there okay now we're uh, sitting here and this guy is just flopping around and just making me hate it so <laughs> I haven't really tried to get it out yet but it looks like there's a uh, flathead type drive there and then a, a small cotter pin in there as well so we'll see about getting that bottom one off um, I've never taken one of these off so it's kind of making it up as we go it looks like there's another strap right there that we'll have to undo. Okay, so there was that little uh, little ground screw you can see is like in there kind of sideways. <clears throat> I just kind of shoved that in that hole real quick. And then pulled that huge cotter pin out right there. That was going through the side kind of right next to that screw. You can see the hole. And then this guy, I've basically pulled him out already, but he's a pin that goes all the way through this sucker. So yeah, so here's that pin. You can see it's got a little wear on it. And yeah, that goes through there. So that, I just pushed it down from above. So now the bottom of this gimbal ring is out. So now I just gotta get the top off. <clears throat> Which could be quite the fiasco, but like I say, the motor's out, so should have good access on the inside to it. But anyway, I don't have a long enough screwdriver. Um, basically that hole right there is that you can take a screwdriver, such as this one, and go in through that hole, and it'll go through and hit that hose clamp. You can just barely see the top of it there. And so you come in from the side, and you get on it right there, and. Anyway, it might work, but it's going to take some fiddling. So anyway, if I can get that to go, that'd be great. And uh, then I can pull the exhaust bellows off, which just goes into that Y pipe on the other side of the transom. You can kind of see the divider right there. Okay, so I was able to get that. This is the inside of it and uh, was able to get to that hose clamp by reaching that screwdriver through and getting on it right there and then I just gave her a good yank pulled that off so there's the exhaust bellows there's the shift bellows now we'll see about the uh, gimbal now it looks I mean plenty loose you can see there's a little gap there but uh, I'm not sure if that's it. He's, you know, has some sort of adhesive on there or how that comes off. Okay, so here is the extremely messed up and deformed uh, um, 
shift bells. You can see what kind of memory this thing has now after a few years, I'm sure. <clears throat> so anyway, I got that peeled off. Now I have to clean all this grease up and just get everything half sanitary. I mean, it doesn't have to be mint or anything, but it has to be at least decent. So uh, anyway, and almost, almost to the the piece of the hour, the prize that I'm here for, you know. So we'll see. It actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. I was kind of expecting like this whole thing to be marred up or like these to be all ovaled out but I don't I don't think they are they look kind of okay so just this top is just so there's where all the plays at you know that's just terrible okay so now I'm inside the boat now and uh, I'm kind of sitting down in the bilge here and this is the steering shaft swivel shaft right here uh, steering shaft I would say I guess I'm not really sure what it's technically called but anyway when the vehicle steers when the boat steers that's this goes back and forth the ram and uh, that's your power steering and that puts the turn in well anyway there's a nut way the hell back in there not the one that's obvious to see but the, like a huge inch in the 1 16th or something so I gotta kinda take some of this stuff apart to get to that, so I'm just gonna kinda take a few things off quick. Okay, well I took this uh, this ram off, basically this this larger pin right here goes down and then this, this pin comes up and they make like a, a pivot point. They have no threads except for right here. So they just kinda like pinch and bottom out and then they have these little lockers on, which Mercury's are them boys. I didn't even didn't even put any of the tabs on this locker, but anyway, we'll let it slide. So here's the here's the arm, and you can hear all that play and bullshit on the other end. So um, got that off. There was a pin that was in this arm that I pulled, and then one other one on the on the end that I don't think I had to pull. But there they are, the two pins and cotter pin and cotter pin. So. Um, dropped my phone in the dirty bilge water so that's real nice but I just gotta get this thing cleaned out but I'm just wanting to get the piece off for now and uh, I'll, uh, I'll turn my light on so we can see a little better here okay so down in there that clamps on onto there but on the very top is the bolt that, or the nut that we're gonna try and get to so We'll see about all that, but it's the next step.